Today we'll be adjusting valves on a Yamaha Grizzly 550. It'll be the same on the Grizzly 700. The tools you're going to need is a 14 millimeter Allen, 6 millimeter Allen, 22 millimeter socket with a, a ratchet, 10 millimeter wrench, 8 millimeter socket, feeler gauges, and a pair of pliers. Now we're going to pull the intake cover off here and it'll expose the two adjustment screws on the intake valve and then also on the exhaust side. We will pull the cam sprocket cover off here, two 8mm bolts there, and the two inspection caps here. We'll use a 14mm Allen to remove this uh, cap on this case, and then a 6mm Allen to remove the inspection cap there. Now you're going to take the 22mm socket and you're going to turn the, um, the wrench clockwise. You're going to turn until lines match up on the cam sprocket here and then also on the inspection window. And I'll show you that here. So the cam sprocket here, these lines, this line up top on this cam is going to line up with this mark here. And then on the inspection window, it's going to line up with that line there. So there'll be an eye on your flywheel in this window here. So you'll spin this nut until you get to that point. Now we will check valve clearance and these are going to be tight so that's why we're needing to adjust those. You take your 10 millimeter, once you've aligned these on the compression stroke, be on top dead center, verify that they're lined up and we'll loosen these. So 10 millimeter here, 10 millimeter here and we'll loosen these and if they're, if they're a little bit, if they're too loose or just a little bit snug, um, they will You'll be able to turn them with your fingers. These are just a little bit too tight, so we've got to use a plier to kind of loosen them up because there's tension on them. And here will be your clearances here. We've got 0 .009 to 0 .13 millimeters on the intake, and we've got 0.16 to 0 .20 millimeters on the exhaust. So for the intake, here we've got point. We'll look for a 0 .091. So that's what we'll adjust the intake to. So what you do is slide your feeler gauge in there and you're able to move it back and forth. We're, we're able to move it back and forth too easy there. So we'll take our finger and adjust that turn screw down until it's fairly snug. But you want to be able to still slide that feeler gauge in and out. Now what we're going to do is take the 10 millimeter screw here and then tighten this up. You want to make sure you don't make sure that this does not tighten up the adjusting screw when you adjust those. So feel it again, make sure it's snug, but you don't want it too tight, you don't want it too loose. And then go to this side, do the same thing. Adjust that turn screw till it's snug. You want to have a little bit of drag and then tighten down that 10 millimeter lock nut there. If it does tighten down when you adjust that uh, lock nut, um, you have to loosen it up and do it again. So it looks like this time it did. We're not able, not able to get our filler screw in there. So we'll loosen it up. And what you can do is hold that turn screw when you're tightening it up. Or sometimes what I'll do is leave it a little bit loose, just knowing that it's going to tighten up on its own. So then when it's tight, you'll be right where you need to be. And so how you can do that then is take a uh, larger feeler gauge, tighten it up, and then when you tighten up the feeler gauge, just make sure that your uh, feeler gauge that you're working with here is the right one. Now feel it, make sure there's a little bit of play, but not too much, and you're good to go. Now we'll go to the exhaust side, 0.16 millimeters, 0.18, kind of right in the middle there. We'll do the same thing on that side, but because of the video, you won't be able to see these. The exhaust valves on this are actually good on this one. We're able just to slide that right through. Now you can test these by putting in a size or two bigger feeler gauge and stick it in there. If it doesn't go in, then you're okay. If it does go in, then you're obviously too loose. So just feel it that way. Now what I always do when I'm adjusting valves is then take and turn this socket again and go all the way around with it just so you know there's, there's everything's clear. You didn't adjust anything wrong. If you adjust it on the wrong stroke um, and you turn it around,
and your valves are too tight, your valves could potentially hit the pistons. You want to spin it around slow just to make sure that you did everything right and then you can put all your covers back on. Again, here is the measurements, the specs for that, and that is how you adjust valves on a Grizzly 550 and a Grizzly 700.